What's up, you beautiful, beautiful people, and welcome to FAQ 103. Oh, I have to be careful about this, by the way. I've received a bunch of comments from people saying that this is satanic or, you know, a, a sign for Freemason or whatever. So here we go. Freemason. I'm not affiliated with the Freemasons or whatever. And you know what? I'm not satanic either because I don't believe in fairy tales. I want to extend a big thank you to everyone who ordered my album. I signed them. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, uh, oh, look, they went again. There it is. You know, when I do this, isn't this just the punch thing? I don't care about this, but when I see this, I want to do this, okay? Oh, hola, sexual harassment panda. Demonetize. Oh, fuck you. I don't care. Anyway, you guys bought my album. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Unfortunately, I ran out of guitar picks, and they will be here next week. So if you ordered a guitarist edition or any picks, you just have to wait a little bit longer, I promised. My wife Louise, uh, who takes care of all the orders, she said to me she was a little bit angry and said that, Ola, you shouldn't have done this little push of your album before you actually let me count what's in stock. So, a little mistake on my behalf. All the orders are getting shipped out soon. If you haven't received it already, it's coming. Okay, great. <laughs> Cuckoo88, hola hola, I have bought guitarist version of your solo album, Solar V 2.6 LM, really nice guitar by the way. <laughs> Subscribe and hit the notification bell on your channel. Can we be friends? We can be friends! If you pay five bucks every month. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, This is getting a little out of hand, but yes, you can pay to become my friend. Just click the join button down there and uh, you can be with me on Discord and be my friend. But thank you so much for the support. I mean, obviously, I'm still available here and, you know, on the YouTube and the Facebook and all that. But if you want to be a little bit more with me and get even a little bit more of my love, you can become a YouTube member. Just saying. Pushing Ola, push myself in the ass. Colonel 063, question for FAQ. Would you ever consider making a Dimebag tribute solar guitar? Okay, not the first time I've been asked this question. And uh, I've been answering it, and uh, you know what? I would love to do it. I've already made it look sort of like a Solar ML, but in respect of the Dimebag camp, I'm not gonna do it. If I would ever do it, it would have to be uh, with the support of the Dimebag camp, which I don't really see happening. I don't think it would be fair for me to do that if, you know, Dimebag camp wasn't involved in it all. So uh, no, I don't think it will happen. That's just how it is. I mean, I would love to do it, but you know, out of respect, I'm not. Okay? Serum Infected. Hey Ola, what do you think about the new Kill Switch Engage album? Okay, so when Kill Switch Engage released, released, released their single from this album, I was really, really underwhelmed. Now, I'm not a fan of this type of genre. Uh, what, like melodic metal core or something like I don't really know what they call it exactly but I remember when this wave of this type of bands came out I was really into like really technical death metal like Cryptosy and Gorgas and all that and you know I listened to these bands and I was like nah nah man I don't want this right now and uh, Killswitch is in that type of genre I think and I heard it on the first single and it's like yeah it's just not something I enjoy that much. I know a lot of people might not think the same as me. That's fine, that's okay. But it's just like, it doesn't really do anything for me. I mean, I listened to the songs on the album. I actually listened to the album, by the way, because I had a member that asked me like, come on, give it a chance. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna listen to the album. No problem. Listen to it. And you know what? There's a bunch of really cool riffs in there and you know, cool passages. But you know, there's something that's, for me, it doesn't sound evil. It sounds happy in a way. And it's like, it's hard to put my finger on it. And uh, I'm sorry to say that. It's just that, that's just how it is. I guess I'm not a true Kill Switch Engage fan. That's okay. Hope that's okay with you guys and that you're still subscribed to my channel. I'm just being honest here. Honest Ola. Honest Ola. Second after positive Ola. Caesar Arias. Hey Ola, have you considered making a color pressed vinyl of your album? I will 100% buy it for my vinyl collection. All right, so with Master the Universe was the first time I ever tried vinyl pressing at all. I'm gonna keep it at that. 
The next album I do, I will definitely go and venture in and experimenting with uh, coloring of the vinyls and so on, see what's available basically. Because now on the Master of the Universe, I just wanted to see, make it happen, see if people would actually buy the vinyl. And you did, you absolutely did. I'm very amazed by that. So there you go. So next album, if it's a uh, Feared or uh, Old England Soul album, I'll probably do something else for that, okay? Ohad Stevi, hey Ola, any thoughts and opinions about that UAD arrow interface sitting on your desk? Cheers from Israel. Okay, so yeah, actually on this desk as well, I brought the UAD Arrow. I'm currently writing songs uh, in the house here. And uh, I'm using this one and I really, really like this interface. I just put out the video uh, this previous week that you can check out. I'll link it up here where I'm talking a little bit why I like this particular interface and why I'm using it for now for songwriting. I've also been using this when I've been out doing clinics and stuff like that. And uh, it's a great small little Thunderbolt 3 interface that I'm using with my MacBook. So there you go. Check out that video. It's up here. Brain Rust. So how was King Diamond? One of my favorites and haven't seen them live yet. Also, I haven't heard you talk about them. Are you a big fan of King Diamond and Merciful Fate? All right. So. I'm also some sort of a sleeper King Diamond fan. I didn't actually start listening to them until a couple of years back. And uh, it's an amazing band. You have to learn to kind of like the vocals first. Just as, you know, when I started listening to Dream Theater, I was really like, I didn't like James Lebris' voice at all. But, you know, the more I listen to it, now I kind of love how James is singing. And it's the same thing with King Diamond. You know, I didn't really... Uh, take a liking for the singing at first, but now it's like, holy shit, he's amazing. So it takes a while to get into the singing style that he's doing, but King Diamond are absolutely sick. And I mean, the current lineup, you know, with Andy LaRock and Mike Weed on guitar, two amazing, totally underrated Swedish guitar players, by the way. This setup of musicians in King Diamond right now is, oh, it's amazing. Uh, if you have a chance to go see them live, go check him out. Uh, they have a great stage show as well. And also, Mike Weed, guitar player, playing solar guitars. Oh shit, plug it myself. Manola, fuck. All right, so all our tasting shit. This book, by the way, I just, you know, placed it here. Because I know it would look good in a video. That's how I work, just a saying. But yeah, so all the testing shit. I'm testing Dr. Pepper today. Ooh, you know what? I know a lot of people liking Dr. Pepper. I never tried it before. What is it? What is Dr. Pepper anyway? Is it like a Coke? Like a cock? Dr. Pepper. Cheers, guys. I love you. Okay. You know, much like root beer, this tastes like medicine. Oh my god. That's the face I have to make. You deserve this. No, I f don't. Bullshit. So there you go. All the tasting shit. Good job, Ola. Good job. Cesar Beltran 050505. Hey, Ola, have you ever checked out Kevin Frassard's YouTube channel? Yes, Kevin Frassard, the massive bodybuilder that shreds death metal music. And he's also shredding on a solar guitar. It's a washburn, but that's okay. I've only been paying attention to his cover videos and I'm not sure he's doing anything else. Is he doing some bodybuilding videos as well? I don't know, but he's a massive dude and he plays those death metal songs like he's gonna f kill that guitar. I'll link Kevin Frassard's channel up here. He's a really cool dude and uh, I would probably not want to meet him in a dark alley somewhere. Motas Hamad. Hi Ola, will you be doing a guitar camp in the future? Like free guitar camp from the Guru? If yes, sign me up. I could probably do that. Yes. But I wonder what it would contain because, you know, I don't know shit, basically. <laughs> a session on how to burp? I can do that. Uh, but guitar playing, that's just not my thing to teach, I think. There's so many good teachers out there. Uh, but it would be cool to have like a camp just for hanging. You know, doing whatever. Writing music or shit like that. I'm actually looking into having like a lawn party with my uh, members. So I'm kind of looking for solutions for that. It's going to be a problem, but I'm looking into it at least. So, uh, okay, if not a guitar camp, maybe a local area network party. Huh? We can play some games. Reebok, hey Ola. I'm sick too at the moment. So cool to have something in common with you. Well, I'm not sick anymore, so sorry. 
E. Riots, hi Ola, how do you manage those moments when you feel frustrated by your playing or creativity? This is a great question. Uh, whenever I feel that I'm in a rut or when I can't really finish off a song or, you know, I'm, you know, I'm just, I, there's a wall I can't really get through. You know, I just go and hang around with my kids because they don't care about my problems. Play some Super Smash Bros with them and, you know, I go take care of everyday problems, you know, and everyday family issues. And usually when I go back and sit after that, the rut is usually gone. So that's my way of doing it. I just go and do every other day things, you know, go clean, you know, go do the dishes or whatever. Just do things that, you know, takes you away from the songwriting aspect of things or guitar playing. Just do, you know, video games is very good for me as well, just to sit around and play with my beautiful, beautiful members. Other things other than guitar that I enjoy doing, I try to do. Okay? <laughs> Dean Dean, hola, since you got your holy grail of guitars, Sun and Cross, what's the next guitar you would absolutely love to get? We're all guitar players and we can't get enough. Good point. I'm gonna get my guitar. This is not the Sun and Cross, by the way, but it's the Cross at least. So I kind of went oversteer with uh, buying uh, Dimebag guitars this year. So I think right now I'm really, really good with guitars. I don't think there's one that I really, really want to have, except maybe for that time slime. <coughs> that Frank had in Australia. That would be awesome if I could buy that from him. Just saying, Frank, what's up? So yeah, right now I don't really have anything on a wish list or something like that. I'm very, very happy where I am with the guitars that I have. Oh my ass, that's the microphone. Is it still recording? It is success. Where do I put this? My ass. At least then I know I won't lose it. Alan Sessa, hey Ola, hope you're getting enough chicken soup to feel less ill. Ha <laughs> ha You mentioned Tool and Slipknot's new release. Uh, have you heard Cold? The new song from Corn. <coughs> Corn. Greetings from Takalan, my friend. Yes, I have listened to the new Corn song. And yes, I enjoy it. At least I enjoy it more than I enjoy the new Killswitch single. It might not necessarily make me horny, but at least it's making me happy. That's a really good way of describing it. It doesn't make me overly horny. It just makes me uh, moderately happy to listen to that song. Uh, there's nothing special about it. It's a corn song, but uh, I enjoy it, at least. There you go, corn. Dime Disciple 1. Do you have any tips for rut busting? Guitars that get stuck playing the same old, same old. I know that you have helped me without even knowing it. Have you seen my videos lately? where I'm kind of like playing the same riff over and over. Yeah. I'm probably like the last guy you should ask this question to. Just go back to the question I had regarding, uh, you know, the songwriting and getting into a rut when you're doing songwriting. Just go do something fun for a while. Or even like learn someone else's song. Like just find a random guy online and uh, just learn his song and just learn your favorite artist's song, I guess, because uh, Usually when you do that, you have to learn something that you're not used to playing. And that usually helps for me at least, just, you know, okay, if there's a song, I go check on Spotify, it's like, oh, what is this? Oh, it's Corn Cold. And then I try to learn that song, it's like, okay, this is cool, ah, oh, you can play like this, okay, cool. So there you go, good luck. There's that sign again, Satan, Freemasons. Oh, Katana, oh, Katana, my little friend, can you help me out? Do you have any batteries, Katana? Yes! <laughs> It's a good exodus sound. Underworld Didi. Coming home from the Northfest Roadshow to see the FAQ up. Whoa. Oh, was the per perfect end to a great day. Have you ever seen Slipknot live before? If so, what it is? What was your opinion on their performance? Yes, I saw them live for the self-titled album and it was an absolutely amazing show. I think it was like 700 people in Stockholm and Klubben. It was two floors and it was basically insane. I mean, it was so sweaty and, you know, obviously back then everyone you know, all the guys in Slipknot were batshit insane on stage, you know, punching each other. Uh, I remember the DJ guy, he came up to the second floor and fucking jumped down there. Like, I think he broke his arm because the rest of the gig is like, standing like this. Ooh, 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 like an asshole. So it was amazing. I remember that a really, really intense gig. And back then they were like, they were pissed, like for real. Obviously a gimmick, but it worked. It was really awesome, I must say. So there you go. I haven't seen them in a good while, but I still imagine them putting out a great show. 
Paros is Skylar. I know you're busy with other material, but when you get a moment, it would be really cool if you could get back to the two week rift challenge. Okay, so he's talking about the 14 days challenge. Overall this summer, I've only been uh, able to do like really easy videos so I can just create content because you know, you know, my kids have been on vacation, so I have to be on vacation with them. And I've only been able to work like one and a half days a week uh, and still be able to, you know, get content for you guys has been a huge struggle. But now the kids are back to school and daycare, you know, I'm full on with uh, my job. So there will be more of the, you know, the artist series videos and tone uh, series and the uh, 14 days challenge and some more, some more of that guess that tone. So back to normal business as normal right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for the patience, by the way. Frankie Shane. Hey, Ola, I've been a subscriber since the days of the blurry face with silent Ola and those early videos helped me choose different apps. Thanks for that. I'm wondering was, 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 was. I'm wondering was there a reason why you waited so long to be vocal on your channel? You're freaking hilarious and I love your accent, even though I mock it at times. You know, back when I did my abs, you know, I just don't thought that people would like to hear me speak. Like what? Why would they? I'm here to play amps and, you know, test the amplifiers. Why would I talk? It doesn't make any sense. And, you know, as usual, you're kind of reluctant of even speaking on camera because you're, you know, you hate your own voice and uh, you think you sound funny and it's, you know, you're just awkward on camera. And, uh, you know, but I thought to myself like, hey, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm going to talk a lot more in my videos and uh, it will be awkward, but I will probably get better at it. and. Lo and behold, I'm here, I'm talking a lot more, probably talking a lot more than playing actual guitar. I just thought it would be the uh, the next step for my channel back then, because I was feeling that my channel uh, became stagnant. I was playing in The Haunted and, you know, really concentrating on making music for them. And uh, I just needed to step it up a little bit. So there you go. Thank you so much for the question. Tyler Britton. Only what do you think of guitar centers when you ever go into one while you're in the USA? I work at a guitar center in California, so I was just curious. Yeah. You know, I've been to a couple uh, when I've been on the road uh, and uh, they're just like a big regular guitar store, I guess. Don't really know what to say. I mean, I bought strings from one and uh, I don't know. The one times I've been to guitar centers, they're usually pretty empty, to be honest. It's just usually me and some other guy or, you know, my, my posse or some other guy. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe that's a reflection that there's no people when I'm there. Well, I went to Guitar Center in New York and there was a bunch more people there, I guess. So, there you go. I, what? Morgan Hicks, will you ever retire from YouTube? That's a great question. I think I will probably retire from YouTube when I don't really have anything more to say or anything more to offer in that sense. Or uh, if uh, something would happen. You know, as of right now, I found myself really enjoying myself making videos for YouTube. So I come, it's a newfound love for making videos. And uh, I'm happy with what I'm doing right now. So hopefully I'll keep it up for a while. Because I like it. Behemoth Studios. Hola, when can I be on member gen? Well, first of all, you have to be a member and I can actually see you are a member because you have that small face next to your name there. And then you have to join Discord and on Discord, uh, Robin, who arranges everything, will shout out when there's a new member jam is happening and you get your spot and you play. and That's it, basically. I think we have a member jam coming this coming Friday and uh, I'm really excited about that one. I'm also very excited about the guest that's on there. So. Look out for that. Maybe it's this coming Friday. Maybe not. We'll just have to see. Thank you. Michael Donald. What the f*** uh, going on? No riff of the day. Yeah, you know what? I've been slacking a little bit with the riff of the day. You know, my thumb is all hurting and shit. You know, just rewind this uh, FAQ back to the part where I was playing Exodus and you can learn that riff. Is it the Scar Spangled Banner? Yes. Great riff. Try that. All right. Guys, thank you so much. That's it for this FAQ. I'm Ola England and you guys are super awesome. Thank you.